what's up YouTube welcome and welcome back to the channel today's video I have a very very easy notepad virus that we can all create super easy that will pretty much bring Windows down to its knees now before I get started with this video I just want to say to all the hacking people out there hey hey to let you know this is not legal to do to other people you should only do this to yourself meaning you know test it out on a virtual machine something like that for all purposes do not do this maliciously that's all what I'm trying to say right, so now that I got that out the way let's just go ahead and make this virus so like I said virus is very easy to make you can make it a notepad it's pretty much just a batch file so what we're gonna do pretty much is we're just gonna go to any folder you can even open notepad anything like that but I'm just gonna click new and new text documents that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Microsoft Registry. You know, doing a little social engineering here, making things seem not like what they are. So let's just go ahead and open up Microsoft Registry. And now this is where we will make the virus. The first thing we're gonna type is echo off. Pretty much what this line does is it's gonna help our file run faster by not displaying every single command that's going on this is totally optional you know you don't have to type this out but I don't want to see the command line window open up and show everything that's going on so I'm gonna type echo off the next thing we have to do is create a variable so if you don't know what a variable is don't worry about it it's just something we can create pretty much out of thin air and we can essentially make it equal anything we want if I create a variable two for example i can make it equal three that's the power of creating your own variable so we're just going to type set and we're going to create a variable called startup folder and what we're going to do here is we're going to set startup folder to equal our startup folder so i'm going to tell you why exactly we're doing this and I'm sure once we launch the virus, you will see exactly why we're doing it this way. All we did here is we set the startup folder to equal the path to our startup folder. So the next thing we're gonna do here is copy a file to this variable. So we're gonna type copy. So wherever you save this file, you have to go to that directory and then you will use it in this command. So Pretty much what I'm going to do, since it's in downloads right now, you know, I'm just going to use the downloads folder, but wherever you put this file, you will use the path in this command. All right, so there's the command. So pretty much the file is located in C users, my username, downloads folder, and then the file name. As you can see, it's called Microsoft Registry .bat, And I did not save it yet. It's currently saved as a text file, but what I will do is I will just create another Microsoft Registry bat file and it will pretty much point the bat file to this. And then as you can see on the right side here, we're pretty much copying this file here to this variable that we set here. And what does this variable equal? This variable is equal to the path of the startup folder. So whatever you put in that startup folder it's going to start as soon as you turn on Windows. All right, so I'm not sure if you know where this is going, but this is the last command we have to type. All we're going to do is type shutdown dash S dash T zero. So I guess you could probably guess what this virus is, is going to do. Pretty much with this command, I am shutting down the computer. This is the command you can type in command prompt to initiate a shutdown. So I'm typing shutdown dash s means to shut the computer down you could type dash r to restart it but since this is a virtual machine i'm just going to type dash s to shut it down then i will manually launch the windows machine again manually and then dash t is just time and i'm doing zero seconds so essentially this is making the computer shut down in zero seconds which is pretty much immediately so all we have to do now is go ahead and save this. We're gonna save this as all files. And at the end, we're gonna put .bat for bat. And as you can see, the file did appear here. We do have a Microsoft Registry text file. 
we don't really need that anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this out. Now when I launch the program, we're gonna see exactly what this thing does. So let's go ahead and launch Microsoft Registry. And as you can see, it's currently shutting down. I'm not gonna cheat. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm just gonna start the virtual machine up again. I'm not gonna, you know, cut the video or anything like that. That way you can see, as soon as I turn on the computer, it's just gonna shut off again. So let's go ahead and all we have to do is wait. I will probably speed this process up here. All right, so as you can see, there it is. Let me go ahead and log in. So I'm logging in, so I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and then it's gonna initiate the shutdown again. There we go. So as you can see, Windows shut down immediately after starting. So when I log on this time, I'm gonna try to stop the shutdown. I might not be successful, but let's go to Task Manager real quick. And as you can see, there's Microsoft Registry. It's enabled and it's in the startup program. So all we did was we inserted our bat file in the startup programs and now we cannot use our computer anymore. So of course there are ways to bypass this, you know, what I would recommend is, you know, you could try to launch a whole bunch of programs at first, but you know, there is another command you can do to kind of kill that process, but you can also launch Windows in like a safe mode or something like that, and then, you know, delete the program. But for people who have no idea what exactly is going on with their computer is just shutting off over and over again this would be very hard to diagnose so hey again remember remember guys i don't hear in the comments you know you pulled the prank do not use your newly found knowledge for evil all right anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something today go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this for course videos but anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace